Carrie Kay back with more Dirty Laundry. Today we have Diarrhea Planet. Yes. What are some of the band names that did not make the cut? Uh, if Diarrhea was the one that slid uh, through. Fiddler. Yeah. yeah. We're going to go with uh, Fiddler. 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 Smith. That's a terrible name for a band. Yeah, Tom Bethesda. Petty and the Heartbreakers. Yeah. Uh, Outcast didn't the make scenes. it. Smashing Pumpkins didn't Snoop make it. Uh, Natural Wine. Slayer was pretty close. What are some of the drugs that have informed your music? Uh, um, Dayquil, Nyquil. Mostly uh, uh, Vic Sal. Two anti anxiety. <laughs> Vic Sal. Yeah, a lot of B vitamins. A vitamins, D vitamins. Mariva. That's a Poppers. good. That's a good vitamin. <laughs> Poppers. This guy, Poppers. Uh, yeah. yeah. This guy's Poppers the Popper exactly. King. There might be, there might be some uh, marijuana here and there. What's the craziest thing you've ever done on Poppers? <laughs> oh, you don't want to know the craziest thing this yeah. guy. Yeah, I do. He used to be in a band no. called Bad Cop. Yeah, he used to be in a band called Bad Cop. That's the craziest that thing he ever on did on Poppers. Poppers. <laughs> what was the inspiration to start the band? Uh, just uh, boredom with um, kind of the bands in our school that we met at and uh, just kind of wanted to cut loose and do something not really with the intent of ever being successful but just for fun just like a cheesy fun thing to do at parties but then it became a real thing <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a write-up in the New York Times how did that feel how'd you find out you know what's really funny about that so the day before we we were in New York, we played that show, and I was talking to somebody, and they were like, "Hey, yeah, I was talking to these New York, all these New York Times writers, and they like love you guys and like really want to write about you guys, but they can't because they can't put the word diarrhea in the New York <laughs> Times." <laughs> then the next day, we get an email, "Oh, we're writing about they're writing about you in the New York Times." Like we were just like, "What?" We were just told like that wasn't going to happen because of our names. So. We rewrote the rule book for the New yeah. York Times. What's the difference between the writing process between the first album and the second album? Prison poppers. <laughs> Prison poppers. <laughs> uh, let's see the writing process. Uh, well, this record was written totally sober. Well, on my end at least. Yeah. <laughs> Can't speak for Brent. I might or have been drunk. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it wasn't really super different, other than it just some of the songs like we took longer to write, and then some of them were really quick and there was more of an emphasis on uh, mid-tempo songs as opposed to like our first record is like all blistering fast yeah. like in your face like slam dog like really intense stuff so uh, this one was a little bit more laid back we're getting old how many guitarists do you have in the band well they couldn't Eleven. make it you know yeah. we only could bring four on this tour so why four five is too many <laughs> is there a specific sound you're going for, or just why uh, not for? Well, it's like the idea that, um, I think, like, I always say this, and I think this is, like, the biggest thing in my head of why you would need four, but, like, my favorite band from when I was, like, a little kid till I was, like, I mean, it's probably still one of my favorite bands ever is Smashing Pumpkins, oh, and, yeah. like, they have, like, on all their records, there was just, like, a billion guitar things going on. It's, like, you have, like, these guitars in the background, they're, like, you know, and, like, stuff like yeah. that, and it's, like, so beefed up, and... You know, like live, I never saw them live, but it always bothered me that a lot of bands I knew couldn't replicate stuff like that um, live. And I, I think that for guitars, it's like you could always kind of have a lot going on, like, you know, like you would have on like a record like that. Um, and you can deliver it live without losing anything, really. Yeah. So it's kind of the idea of uh, creating an experience that most people create in the studio, but doing that live and just doing it over the way over the top, you know?